Hello, my friends. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to reset the administrator password for Windows. This can be done on Windows Server and Windows 10. This procedure should only be done on a machine that you own. Doing this procedure on a machine without permission is illegal. You ever tried to log into your Windows machine and sitting in your lab and you're like, ah, oh, I can't remember what the password is. Okay, well, let me try this reset password. What? What is this? Floppy disk? Who uses floppy disk? In this video, I'm going to use this little icon in the bottom right here to get you to log in. To do this procedure, you will need to create a bootable Windows USB installation drive. You will need to boot from this USB drive to get to the where we need to go. Please watch my video on how to create a bootable USB drive. I'll leave a link above and in the description below. After booting up using a Windows install media, when you get to the Windows setup window, press Shift plus F10. This will bring up a command line window where we can start all of our commands. First command I want to put in is I want to list all the logical disks. So we're going to type in logical disk and you can see there's all my disks. And then I'm going to change the C drive by typing in C colon. Then I'm going to look DIR to see what's in it. Nothing there. Next I'm going to change to the D drive by going to D colon. Then I'm going to type in DIR. There it is. I'm looking for the Windows folder. This is the folder that we're going to do all of our work in, okay? So next I want to change to the Windows System 32 directory. So CD Windows System 32. Once I'm in there, I'm going to rename utilman.exe to utilman2.exe. Okay, and I'll show you what this means here in a minute. Next, we're going to come in here and I want to go ahead and say copy command.exe to utilman.exe. This will make it so the command line pops up when we hit that uh, ease of access button. And now I just need to shut down dash r dash t dash r is reboot dash t is time zero is now. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. Now that we've rebooted, if you look at this icon on the bottom right, when I click on it now, I get a command line. First thing I want to type in is control user passwords two. And here you go. You've got your user accounts. Now you can set all your passwords you want. So I'm going to go ahead and set my password here. Go ahead and confirm it one more time. Hit OK. And we should be good to go from here. All I need to do now is reboot and we'll check see if our new password works. So I'm going to type in shutdown dash R dash T and zero and enter. Here we go. All right, let's see if our new password works. I'm going to go ahead and type it in, hit enter, fingers crossed, and it looks like we are good to go. If you want to go back and undo what we just did, simple enough to do, just come in here. What we want to do is say restart, get back into boot from the USB drive, Hit Shift plus F10 again. I'm going to shift to my D drive. I'm going to CD Windows System 32. Get back in there. This time, I'm going to delete utilman.exe because that's the one we renamed. And now I'm going to take the one that we renamed and bring it back to utilman.exe. So rename utilman2.exe to utilman.exe. Press Enter, and that's it. Now we just need to shut down. Dash R reboot, dash T is for time, zero is now. And once we're rebooted, if I go down here and navigate to this button here, it's back to normal. I should be able to log in now with my new password and we should be good to go. Have a good one, guys.